Okay, you guys, so this is, uh, hopefully it's not going to be too long. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'm amazed by this. Um, I wanted to share uh, a little bit of what has come out every time I've gone to Pastor Mark's ministry for deliverance, what the Holy Spirit had revealed to the person praying for me. And... Um, I knew it came from the Holy Spirit because it was true. And she didn't know me from a hole in the wall, so it had to be from the Holy Spirit. But these are all things that I had repented on already, but yet the Holy Spirit was bringing them up again, that he wanted me to repent again of it. And um, as I told you, he has delivered me from just about 50 demons already. So the, the fact that yesterday Bob Larson came out and was talking about that I have a demon and I should make an appointment with him, I wouldn't give that man another penny, okay? Um, if, he was, if he was really doing this in the name of Jesus Christ, he would have been offering to help me out here, not attack me. And definitely not charging $500 to people who are suffering, okay? So, um... So, so what the men, what the people praying for me were told by the Holy Spirit, number one, um, was an abortion. And I had repented of the abortion. Once I was convicted of it, oh my God, I cried and really condemned myself, called myself a murderer. I, that, that was how I saw myself. You know, you think of, uh, when you see people doing things that you never thought you would do, like people murdering people that, that are in prison right now for murderers. It's always those people, those people. Here I was because I had an abortion and I was also one of those people. And I felt that with all heaviness and weight on me. And I cried for weeks over this, repenting, repenting. And it was true repentance. But yet when I went for... One of the deliverances, the Holy Spirit made the, the person praying for me say that um, I'm being told that you had an abortion. I'm like, yes, I did. I said, I repented for this. I guess he wanted me to say it publicly to humble myself for all this. Like I was not going to hide my sin. So if you've had an abortion, um, it is murder. And I have to tell you that there, there's no such thing as... Uh, you have a right to kill anybody. You don't. Um, it is murder. You're going to have to repent of that. And you're going to have to say it publicly that you've done it. This is what the Holy Spirit wants. Masturbation is another one. All sexual perversion. So masturbation, fornication. Um, if you've ever watched porn films. Well... From the age of 14 years old, I was dating a somatic sociopath. I can't even tell you the things that he made me do. I had to repent of all of it. I had to repent of all of it. And um, there was also sexual abuse and rape by him and sodomy by him. Forceful sodomy. Not that I willingly did it. No, it was forceful sodomy. The guy was purely demon-possessed. And um, I, I was very young. I was the end of my 14, 14th year up until 21. He was the father of my first child. So I was very, very seriously abused and I was trauma bonded to him. So uh, physically, sexually, verbally, psychologically, emotionally, every way you can imagine abused I was. I had to repent of all these things. Even if you did not willingly do it, if you are feeling any kind of filthiness about it, um, that now you know it was a sin, and just the mere fact that even though it was forced on you, it happened to you, but then fornication during all those teenage years, that was voluntary on my part with him. I had to repent of all of this stuff. I had to repent of all of it. It's all a sin. You see, out in the world... This is normal living. People don't see this as a sin. You get a boyfriend. You have sex with your boyfriend. 
I was actually almost in shock when I started understanding what the Bible was saying that all of this stuff was a sin. I had no clue. I had no clue. Even uh, reading horoscopes. My mother used to read horoscopes in the Daily News in, in New York. So I grew up reading horoscopes. Um, astrology. I was never into astrology, but that's what horoscopes are. And even I remember as a young as a young kid, my mother my mother bought me it was a fourteen karat gold pendant of Pisces. Um, whatever our, I don't even remember the name right now. I'm struggling. Whatever our sign was, our astrological sign. Um, she bought me a Pisces pendant for my birthday or Christmas or something. So this stuff was normal in my family. Yet we were Catholics. And everybody on my block in Brooklyn, we all lived the same way. So none of this stuff was abnormal for me. So now when I come to the Bible and I'm reading the Bible, and I'm seeing everything that's in the Bible that is a sin, which was exactly everything that we lived, yet we were going to church. My my step-grandparents were well-known in the church. They, they gave lots of money to the church. They volunteered at the church. Everybody knew who they were. Yet, they were doing the same things. So none of this stuff was abnormal. Do you understand? This is why there's a lot, a lot, a lot of changing that needs to happen. Here's the other thing. Tattoos. Tattoos. The Holy Spirit told the person praying for me that I had tattoos. So there is a chapter in Leviticus that talks about and I'm going to I'm going to read it to you because I did pull it up. Leviticus 19:28 You shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. 1 Corinthians, or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. Revelation 19.16, on his robe and on his thigh, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. 1 Corinthians 10.31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all in the glory of God. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Deuteronomy 14, that was Ephesians 5.10. Deuteronomy 14.1, you are the sons of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves or make any baldness on your forehead for the dead. 1 Corinthians 10.23, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Romans 124, therefore God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. James 414, yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. So what I would like to say to you, there's also an article I, I pulled up by Got Questions says, what does the Bible say about tattoos? It says, the New Testament does not say anything about whether or not a believer in Jesus Christ should get a tattoo. Therefore, we cannot say that getting a tattoo is a sin. Because of Scripture's silence, getting inked falls under the category of a gray area, and believers should follow their convictions in the matter respecting those who may have different convictions. And here is what I would like to say to you guys. Um, you know, we, we can't pick and choose what we want to say is, is in the Bible or say is a sin or is not a sin. Um, these people are all out here speaking about things from the Old Testament as they're, <coughs> excuse me, as they're attacking New Age, saying that tarot cards are an abomination before God. Because it's in Deuteronomy. Um, seeing a uh, a psychic or a medium, they're all, all an abomination before God. They're in the Old Testament. Um, 
Also, this this uh, scripture about tattoos is in the Old Testament. So what God question says is there's nothing written about it in the New Testament. So people uh, people can be left up to their own discretion. So what I want to say is I will tell you emphatically that the Holy Spirit told the person praying for me that I had tattoos and I needed to repent for my tattoos. The laws of the Old Testament have, have not been stopped because Jesus came. Jesus came to fulfill the laws. We're required to follow all of the laws, the laws in the Bible. None of the laws in the Old Testament do not apply to us anymore. Jesus condensed everything in his two commands that he gave us. Love the Lord your God. And not have any false gods before him. And love your neighbor as yourself as much as you love God. And all of the laws in the Old Testament fall under that umbrella. Do you understand? Those laws have not been stopped since Jesus came. So if these people are going to be out here preaching that tarot cards are an abomination. Psychics are an abomination. Mediums are an abomination. They must be out here preaching that tattoos are an abomination and here's the other thing it's not only well well what happens it is a sin it is a sin as you just heard me read in uh, from scripture also whenever we commit a sin it is a doorway and a portal for demons to enter when you get tattooed, you are opening a portal for demons to enter. Now, especially if you're if you're getting all demonic things and skulls and everything else all over you. What I did, because my family, uh, and I said very openly while I was in the sleep, my family, I loved, I put everything before God was my family. Instead of putting God first and then family second, Family was first and God was second. This is why everything had been stripped from me. It had to have been. God had to be first. This is why this happened. And why I had to break all attachments and transcend everything. I had no proper guidance growing up about God, his teachings, the Bible, anything like that. And I went to Catholic school for the first seven years of my life. No proper teaching. Because the people do not follow the Bible. They don't even actually read the Bible. Christians are not saved as far as I can see. They don't even know what's in the Bible. You have to understand, I'm telling you, when I went for deliverance at Pastor Mark's ministry, the Holy Spirit told the person praying for me that I had tattoos and I needed to repent for my tattoos. So, it is a sin. That sin has not been taken away from us. It is a sin and it should be preached out here to people who have not yet gotten tattoos that it is a sin. You should be preaching about this just as much as you preach about tarot cards. Just as much as you preach about psychics and homosexuality and mediums, you should be preaching about tattoos. It is a sin and being a sin, it opens a doorway to the demonic realm and demons will enter you. So I wanted to share this with you. There, there. Listen, if you don't know what God's word says, you can, uh, you can just assume that your entire life out in the world, as I said, we were all born into Satan's kingdom. And every truth that we've ever known is the exact opposite of God's truth. So, while I was shocked when I started reading the Bible that fornica it was fornication, that you have sex with your boyfriend. I was with my boyfriend for four years. Is, do you think anyone is going to date you and not want to have sex with you? Well, this is how normal sin has become in our society. This is how normal sin has become in our society.
and no one reads the Bible. And churches are not encouraging people to read the Bible. So I want you guys, as always, to know the truth. Uh, not, not what's going to be cherry-picked out of the Bible uh, on what you should be taught out here. No, every word that God has said in that Bible is truth, whether it's Old Testament or New Testament. Because all the laws from the Old Testament fall on the, under the umbrella of Jesus' two commandments. You love God with everything you have. And when you love God with everything you have, you want to follow his laws. And that includes the Ten Commandments and everything else you're seeing in Deuteronomy. What he's saying is an abomination. So why are these pastors out here talking about tarot cards and psychics and mediums and scribing and divination? And why are they still talking about this stuff if it's in the Old Testament and it doesn't matter? But yet tattoos, because it has become very popular in our culture now it's it's leave it up to everybody's discretion on what they believe no no it's in the bible that we should not be cutting our bodies our bodies should not be a cemetery for the dead and you definitely should not be having demonic tattoos all over you so anything that you do that goes against god's word is a sin and that opens a portal to demonic attack that's what I want you guys to know. You've got to know the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Not cherry-picked truth. The total truth. In Jesus' mighty name. I will put both of those, uh, the article and the, the Bible verses, in the description so that you all can see it. This is something that needs to be told very strongly out here so that kids can stop getting these tattoos. That's all there is to it.